Hi everybody, welcome to Petra's Happy Place. And I am in my happy place right now. Yes, I am. I got some stuff. Some stuff. I started getting it yesterday and I just kept getting some more. Some of it I purchased and some of it came in the mail. Some of it was happy mail. You know, I don't know why people say happy mail. To me, that is just the silliest thing in the world because all mail, anything in the mail is happy mail for me. Well, except for bills, but then again, hubby takes care of those. So yeah, anything that comes in the mail is happy for me. So anyway... I want to show you what I've been up to the last couple days. I found a pattern for dish claws. Um, what's her name? Bonnie Bay Crochet. I think that's her name. Bonnie Bay Crochet. Yeah, Bonnie Barker. So I got, she had this, and I just watched it and it just, I'm doing it. I've made one, well, I'll just show you, one, two, three, four, five. Now, I didn't put the ends in this one yet, but the first one took me about an hour and a half to two hours to do, just because I was distracted and... I kept missing my counts and I had to skip frogging it and doing it over again. But now I can get one done in about an hour. That's amazing. And my plan is to have um, a couple more different colors because I'd like to include one or two with every crochet gift for a female that I give a gift to. I'm just going to like I don't know, maybe I'll fashion some kind of a flower or something, you know, I don't know. I'm, I haven't thought that far ahead yet. I got my squares for Sadie. And if you're watching, I'm going to mail them on Monday. Um, I got the envelope here. I got the envelope ready to go. I just have to do it. And Sherry, oh boy, I can't remember your last name. I know it starts with a K. Sherry, I'm going to be getting out your book on Monday. And also, tomorrow night after my live, I'm going to draw um, a winner for the Knit Crate box. Okay? So... Let me show you some stuff. Okay, first thing, most important thing, is my sweet friend Erica from Froggy Day sent me a whole big jumbo skein of my orchid that I needed to finish my project. I love it. Thank you. You know what I love more than this yarn, though? I love my friend Erica. Thank you so much, honey. I was very, very thoughtful. Thank you. Almost cried when I opened it up. Almost cried when <laughs> you told me that you got it for me. So, came in one day, y'all. One day. Okay. So, today... Oh, here's that other... I started another <laughs> one of my, I'm going to make it in this pink color, azalea. I'm going to make another one of those. One skein, I mean, one of these things takes one skein. Actually, not even a whole one of that. So I'm going to do, do another one tonight. So in the mail from Amazon, I ordered me some stuff. Now, one thing, I ordered four things, and one of them is coming from China, so I'll probably get it next year. Who knows? Um, it's just some stitch markers. They're, and they're those plastic, they look like little diaper pins. 
That's what they look like, diaper pants. So, I got me some fuzzy balls. Some fuzzy balls. Yeah, I have, I need to go through my um, stash of hats that I have made for gifts. And I need to put some pom-poms on it. Yep. So, yeah, there's, I love these. And I'm going to probably have to get some more. There's 12 in these packets. There's uh, two black, two dark brown, two medium brown, two tan, and two white. So, I think that was a good deal. I got myself my first clover. You know, I just, I, I know they have the set on sale right now, and I really wanted to get the set, but I thought, you know what? I do not i know it's an investment even if it's only i think this whole set for the the uh omora hooks was tw less than 29 dollars. it was less than 30 i know that it was less than 30 dollars right now but um i would rather get one work with it see how i like it before i use the money to buy an entire set and I know if I have to pay more, I have to pay more. But, um, you know, I'm looking at the clovers. I like the hooks that I'm using right now. I love, I love them. And they're a no-name brand. They're uh, Be Crafty, I think is the name brand of them, from Amazon. They're ergonomic handles. And they come in a, well, I, I have it here somewhere, but... This is the um, five millimeter hook, and I've been using the heck out of this one. They're just longer, and they have that ergonomic handle, and I just love it. I love, love, love these hooks. And they're like a fraction of the cost of clover. But I'll try it, and if I like it, I might go ahead and get the whole package. And if not, if I don't like it, I don't feel like I overspent. You know what I mean? So I'm really looking into furls. Talk about investment, people. <laughs> okay. So the last thing I ordered was a ball winder. Yay! I was so excited. Now I can get Mr. Happy to hold his hands like this and I'll just do the do this one. That'd be fun. Yeah, and the nitpick, it was on sale. And so I got a really good deal. I don't remember how big of a stain this thing makes. I think it was, well, I don't even, I don't even know. And I don't even know where the paper is. I probably threw it out. Knowing me, I don't do directions very well. I'm just one of those. I like to make up my own directions. So, hubby took me out to El Tapatio's. El Tapatio's is our Mexican place. And it's in Lisbethtown, which is about 15 miles away. And it happens to be right next to Joanne's. So, guess what I had to do? I went to Joanne's. Look what I got me at Joann's. They had a sale on Red Heart Super Saver. All right, Ms. Noni Mae, my sis. I got three skeins of Icelandic. Oh, isn't that pretty? It's so pretty. Icelandic. And I also got to go with that two skeins of the light gray. These were on sale for $2.49. I think that's what it was. Let me see. Uh, nope, $2.79. Excuse me. Won't that be pretty? I think I'm going to make something with it. I don't know. Maybe like a little lap blanket or something. I don't, I don't know. I just, you know, I'm usually into the purples 
And before the purples, I was going through a teal aqua phase. And now, now I'm kind of like both, you know? But anyway, I just think that's just so pretty. Okay, so that's what I got there. They had Karen Simply Soft on sale. Normally it is, how much? Uh, super, super, uh, Karen Super Soft is normally $4.99. I got it on sale for $2.99. Look what I got me. In your booty. It's so booty. I've got off white, one skein of off white, and two skeins of pagoda. And I think there's enough in there to make myself a little jacket, a little sweater, a short sleeve sweater, or I don't know, maybe something else. Haven't decided yet. But I just thought they were beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Then, went over to Michael's, which is only about, not even a quarter of a mile away. They ain't got no good sales going on. I mean, they got sales, but they ain't good. I'm talking like 25% off of the big cake, the big whatever is big. The latte cakes, the... um uh. Karen, big one pounds, you know, baby love, those kinds of things. So, um, didn't get anything there. I walked in, walked up and down the aisles to see the sales, didn't see anything. So guess what I did? I walked out next door to Barnes and Noble. Another Petra's happy purchase. Look here. Ah, uh, I just love a Christmas read at Christmas time. I don't know if there's something about it. I know a lot of you, like me, like books better than TV. I love a Hallmark channel during the winter time. You know, from beginning of November all the way through December, I'm watching every Christmas movie about five or six times. Uh, it's my life. Anyway, so this... I'm going to read it this year. It's called Finding Christmas by Karen Shaler. And I am, look. It, it sounds, it the blurb sounds just like a Hallmark movie, which, okay, you had me there, okay? And she even wrote the original, let's see, she's the writer of the Netflix hits A Christmas Prince, and she's also written original Hallmark and Lifetime Christmas movies. So, you know, I'm just saying, this is going to be good. How can it be bad? So, I have one more purchase I made today. Shh. No, I work at Walmart. <laughs> so, I gotta go. Of course, they never have sales, okay? Just, but I saw these yarns. And everybody had been talking about them, and I just had to get them. They just are so beautiful. They're, they weren't on sale, but they're the Super Saver Ombre. And they're not the, yeah, Super Saver Ombre. They're not the, uh, what's the other ombre I'm thinking of? The Mandala Ombre. They're not that. So I got the Colorway Purple. Isn't that pretty? It's showing up more purpley on camera than it really is. It's more of a, to me, it has a little bit of an eggplant. You can see a little bit of that right here, a little bit of an eggplanty look. Then I also got this one. This one is deep teal. See, I'm telling y'all, between the teals and the purples, I just can't get away from them. I just love them. Now, they don't go good together, like, necessarily, but, hey, 
I just love them. I don't know what I'm going to make. I don't even know where I'm going to put them <laughs> because I've got yarn piled up. I had to bring in a shelving unit, y'all. Had to bring in a little, not a shelving unit, one of those drawer things, you know. I emptied it out. I put yarn in it because I don't like yarn just laying on the floor. Well, now I got all this yarn. I don't know where I'm going to put it. I got a basket I can put it in. I got a basket, y'all. I got baskets galore. Hey, I used to sell Langenberger baskets, so I've got, it's not like I have an excuse that I don't have any basket to put them in. I got tons of baskets. So, okay, that is all I wanted to share with you guys today. I wanted to do all that so that I could free up my time tomorrow for my live so that I could actually do some crocheting um, while we're chatting, okay? So come prepared with your questions. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be here at my house and I'll be doing it right from this little happy, happy nook, happy place. And um, so if you, if there was something that you wanted to see off of my shelves from my stash, if there was a question that you had about any of my yarns that you might have seen me present or anything, let me know tomorrow and I will should be able to pull it out and let's take a look at it if you want, okay? Um, I think that'll be fun. Don't forget, um, email me, send me an email if you want to be included in the Christmas ornament swap. We're just going to make like a little ornament, um, not three, it could be just a 2D one, a flat one that you can stick in an envelope and mail it. Um, that's, that's all we're going to do. You know, it's not going to be like a big deal. Um, but I just think it'd be something fun that we could all share together. And, um, because I'm going to be, let's see here. I'm going to give that until like, uh, Black Friday. Okay. And then on Black Friday, I will, um, match I don't think I'm going to match up. What I'm going to do is just draw, pick a name, and then send that address off to that person instead of trying to match up because that way, yeah, we'll just do it that way. So, um, yeah, and Knit Crate giveaway, that is going to be picked tomorrow at, I'm going to say, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you haven't yet... Pop on and um, leave a an appropriate comment because there's a question you need to answer. I have noticed that there are several people who have not answered that question, that they just commented, but they did not answer the question. So, um, I hope one of you wins. And I know one of you will win. I'm so excited because that knit crate box is to die no 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 you wouldn't die for it no that's not true it's beautiful and you'll just want it okay <laughs> and if you can get it for free right okay y'all i'm going to take off and i hope that you're having a wonderful day and take a look in my pretty christmasy i gotta make another christmasy Maybe tomorrow before I see you, I'll have another Christmas Eve. All right, everybody. Bye.